guys, welcome back to my channel, The Retro Farmhouse. If you're new here, I'm Jessica. Today we're gonna be doing um, some uh, projects with some salvage items that I found while I was at a trade days this weekend and also an old crib that I found up in my attic. We've lived in our uh, house for a few years now and um, occasionally there are some items that the old owners who lived here for 30 years left so I thought I could do something out of this and one of the inspirations for the projects today came from Jamie Ray Vintage. I don't know if you all watch their channel but her and Zeb are awesome and they do these awesome projects projects and they create a lot of things out of salvage so it really inspired me to make my own um, blanket ladder as well when I saw these spindles at this um, at this little antique uh, fair thing that I was at this weekend so um, come along with me and learn how to do this hopefully this inspires you guys if you find something like this in your area so let's get into today's project okay guys so what I'm gonna do with this first piece this is actually two sides to an old baby crib I found this in my attic so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to join um, both of these pieces together but take some of the um, parts out on the sides and I'm actually gonna try to make a blanket ladder out of this so I'm gonna take it apart first and join the top and the bottom part with these double end um, screws they have I think they're called dowel screws they actually have um, double threaded on each side so it makes it easy to join two pieces together so that's how I'm going to connect these now that you can see here I've taken my pieces apart and I'm going to join them there in the center so that they make two long boards on the side so we're going to put those together with some screws here and I'll show you which screws I'm using okay so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to drill um, down in here a little bit more for my pilot hole. There's already a hole in this, but I want to make it a little bit longer. So I'm just going to use my drill bit for this. So I'm just using these dowel screws. I'm using the fourth and inch ones. And basically all you do is I'm just taking some pliers and I'm just screwing this into one end. And then I'm going to take both of my pieces and then screw these together with a little bit of wood glue for just some extra security. So now the only thing for me to do is just to reapply some glue into my um, dowels and to place them back in here and let it dry and then it'll be done. So to make my second one, I'm just using some of these salvage spindles that I had got from a kind of a trade auction. And I got these two um, five foot long boards. I believe they're three quarters by one and a half by five feet. And I'm just going to cut some of these spindles down and this is what we're going to create our second blanket ladder with. So I have five of these, so I'm going to be cutting these down to about 16 inches in length. Next, I'm gonna apply one layer of my Java chalk paint from Folk Art over both of the ends of my ladder. This is basically just gonna give a little bit of a dark contrast underneath when I start to do some of the distressing. cover my spindles with three different types of paints and I'll put a picture up here of the different types of paints I'm using. I'm using the apricot uh, color from Dixie Belle, chalk paint that is the castle from home decor, and then the 
uh, Savannah chalk paint um, home decor. Those are both folk art brands. So basically, I'm just going to apply these um, in no particular reason, like just kind of all over where I feel like I want to see these come through um, when we do our distressing. And I'm going to do basically the same thing to the sides of my ladder. Okay, so now I'm going to apply a, uh, an even coat of my white chalk paint from the Folk Art brand. Um, this is just what I had on hand, so I'm just basically using what I already have. And I'm definitely going to cover this uh, with a good layer over all of these items because I want this to be my main um, base layer. And then from there, we'll distress that with my orbital sander and some sandpaper um, on the spindle parts. And then we'll assemble. After my paint has dried, I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just doing a twisting motion on my uh, rods here just to kind of distress them on the edges. And then after this, I took a damp rag and I'm doing a little bit of wet distressing just to bring out a little bit more of that darker color underneath. Next, I'm taking my drill and I'm just drilling some pilot holes for my finishing nails. And I'm going to put these about 14 inches apart. Okay, so I've drilled some holes into both ends of my uh, spindles here and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply a little bit of wood glue and I have some of my finishing nails here and I'm just gonna tap those in to both sides so that I connect this as it goes up. And the last thing I'm gonna do with my ladder here is I'm just gonna apply some clear wax over top of it just to protect the finish. I'm using the home decor uh, clear wax by the folk art brand i get this off of amazon i'll put a link in below um, of some of the colors that i've been using today and i'm just going to apply this on with just a lint free rag And here's how today's projects turned out.
Hope you guys enjoyed today's project. If you did, please hit that like button as well. Subscribe so you know when I'm updating a new video and stay tuned for some more projects and comment below. Let me know which one was your favorite today. And don't forget to still, uh, there's still time to do some questions for our upcoming Q and A. So if you have some of those, pop those below as well. And we'll see you guys again for next video.